what's probably gonna be the fastest life update on the planet. There was some confusion around like my U-Haul boxes, the sizing, etc. So right now, I'm actually moving all my stuff out by myself. So all of my boxes are going into a cube that's currently downstairs right now. Another cube is gonna get dropped off when that one gets picked up, which I need, I need a second cube, that's the problem. So another one's gonna get dropped off when that one gets picked up. So I have to pack everything into that cube so that there's stuff in it for when that other one gets dropped off and that one gets picked up. Hopefully that's not confusing, but I think I might film like a sit down video about this entire move. Comment down below if you wanna see something like that because I can't possibly explain everything that's gone on. But I had to like go to Home Depot, get myself one of those little like hand trolley things. Where is it? There it is, right there, that hand trolley thing. I also had to get myself like new locks. Um, because the one that I had just was a little bit too flimsy. So I'm just running through that stuff. But then I have a second cube coming, but that's gonna be filled with like my bigger furniture stuff. So like my sofa, my mattress, my um, I have like a golden chest over there, and then anything that's like left over that could not go into this cube is what's it's gonna be like the overflow. I don't think I'm gonna have that much overflow. I think it's just gonna be the bigger, bulkier items that I don't want riding with this other stuff where that just won't fit in. So yeah, I apologize for talking so fast, but I, I just have to get all of this done. It sucks because Taylor's literally gonna get here half an hour after I'm finished packing everything up. But the U-Haul man who's doing this, his name's Sunny, he's the sweetest human being ever. I will explain that I think in my sit down video. Yeah, I need to do that. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey everyone, editing Elisha here. Just wanted to check in and say, obviously I think it's very important to wear my mask. Uh, if I didn't have my own private elevator, private hallway to walk down, and as well you saw nobody was really outside at the time, I would have ran back in for my mask, but I wore it for the rest of this video when I was in public spaces. I'm almost done. Look at the living room. I know it doesn't look like much because there's two boxes, but trust me, there's a lot of stuff that's out of here. The mover guy is here, so I have to run, but I just have like maybe one to two more trips left. He's so sweet. He's like, I'll wait for you, don't worry. So my hope is to get this down there, get that down there, this down there. It really sucks because if I had just believed that all my stuff could have fit in that tomorrow, it would have done, it would have fit because all of the boxes, my sofa, my bed, everything would have just fit in. Mini update because I did not give you one. Oh my gosh. It was a lot. I hadn't eaten. I was thirsty. I was tired. My security guard was so cute. He literally gave me a snack. He was like, hey, you look tired. And he gave me like, he gave me an oat milk and like a little Nature Valley bar. That was very nice of him uh, because he saw me struggling. Like I. I loaded that whole thing up. Like, I wish I got an after photo. Maybe I'll get it when the movers start in Vancouver because it was a lot. Like, I'll show you what's left behind. So I have this office leg thing. That's all stuff I'm bringing with me to my family's house. Empty box, empty box. This is all stuff that just has to be organized. So this pantry is going to go downstairs. Somebody can collect it if they want it for themselves. My mattress and then all the things I have to pack. Seeing this type of disorganization, it's stressful, but kind of nice in a sense because it's like, wow, like I did that. Like I packed all of that stuff. Like um, towards the end, I did have a little bit of help. The guy at U-Haul, he was also an angel. Today had many angels and he, I hope I don't want the blueberry. Yep, blueberry my teeth because I'm drinking a quick blueberry protein smoothie before um, Taylor gets here. She's here a little bit later than I thought she would be. So she's gonna come pick me up and then we're gonna go to Home Depot together. And I have to return the lock that I have. I think I'm also gonna film a video all about using the U-Box because I really could have fit everything into that one U-Box, truly. Like my mattress, all my office stuff, like everything. 
but by myself, I didn't put the mattress in first. I didn't put the sofa in second. If I put my mattress in first, my sofa in second, you know, like you're supposed to fill a bucket with all of the um, big rocks first, right? If I hadn't have done that, or if I had done that, it would've been great, but I don't, I'm not octopus. I'm not like a supremely strong octopus either. I don't know why I'm talking about octopi, octopuses. It's been a long day. So Taylor's gonna pick me up. I'm headed to Home Depot just to make a return. The dolly that I had, even though it looked like it was killing it, it wasn't killing it. The pins kept falling out of it. Like it was difficult to use. Yeah, so that's going right back. So yeah, tonight's just like girls night in with Taylor. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna chill. I have a few more boxes left just in case I need them, but really I'm gonna return the remainder boxes. So, oop, Taylor's messaging me now. Enough of this update, I'm headed downstairs. Bye. <laughs> Don't cry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lock. Oh. Woo! Door's locked. I got my keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. Everything is packed. Everything is in my U-box. My family was here helping me move. I appreciate them so much. 